Steve here, Shen RC, and today on the workbench we got the RC four wheel drive Trail Finder three. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks with the suspension, and uh, we got some lights on it here. This is my brother's rig. We put the lights on, so it looks like a beauty. But let's take a closer look at it. All right, guys, this is a nice little rig, but out of the box, it's really stiff. And we did modifications to the suspension. You could see now it has some nice articulation. Before, when you got this out of the box, you pick this up, every wheel just comes off. So we got it working pretty damn good. You got to do this to yours if you want it to run a lot better. You'll be happy you did it. And I'll show you how to do it now. We got the lights hooked up here, all wired in. Move this aside. All right, first off, before I show you the mods, guys, check every little screw in this whole thing because a lot of them are loose and you need thread lock. They don't use none on anything, all the steering little rods everything they'll, they'll probably come loose when you ride it if you don't thread lock it so we went over everything and thread locked it even the drive shafts here well, I can't turn it because it's in low gear but check these take them all out thread lock the grub screws everything the the uh, shackle things for the leaf springs all right now that I got that done, so you know what to do with the thread lock, here's what we did to the suspension. Let me show you over here. We angled the rear shocks inward on the top to the inward hole. And also you want to take the shocks off and put one drop of oil down inside the uh, shock over here. We used like 50, you could go 50 up to 100, whatever you want to use. You could just unscrew them because you're going to want to thread lock them anyway. Take the top off, put one drip down there because when they give them to you, there's nothing in them. And the silicone rings in the bottom here grab these shafts so hard that they don't even move up and down. They're like really stiff. So once you put that drop in there, it'll go on to the rings and make it smooth again like it's supposed to be. All right, now here's the big modification on the suspension. What made it work best, guys, is all you do is take the leaves off and leave just one in the rear. And I got more tricks, so stay tuned. And then on the front, you leave one plus the one size larger and you take out the small one. Discard the small one out of the front and then next what you do to it to make it get a little more flex you could see this it flexes a little bit better I found what you need to do hope you guys can see this good let me get close as I can these shackles here unscrew the nuts till the end of the screw is flush with the end of the nut let me show you that way it'll be loosened up. You do that to all of them. Everyone on the whole shackles front and rear. And that makes it wiggle like this. And that's what gives you that little extra twist. Plus with the, uh, with the leaf springs with one and only two in the front, it gets softer so it flexes better. And you could see it's softer, flexes a hell of a lot better. Also, the next mod you could do is with the steering. Let me show you real quick. The steering, this rod here, when you press it down, hits this plastic piece here. So what we did was, we used a longer screw here and we put a two millimeter spacer there. Let me see if I could turn so you could see it. 
see it under the uh, ball joint that raises this up so it don't hit the plastic and also let me turn it so you could see it again I'm trying to do this at one hand uh, you can't anyhow see over here where the rod hits you want to grind that down a little bit so it don't hit as much and with that two millimeter spacer right there under the rod it'll go down even before it used to be crooked and not go flat so that helps a lot also so make sure you check that out on yours so that's what we did to it and then we just added lights out of the receiver box with a little cable but you don't have to do that they probably sell a light kit much better now so make sure you check all them bolts and put the thread lock like I said and then trust me if you do my mods these little tweaks you don't have to pay nothing and you're gonna thank me when you take it out for a run it's so much better I'm gonna have a little run video soon if the weather ever gets better you'll be able to see it guys I just wanted to show you these mods I hope it helps you out you'll get your truck running better and I thank you all for watching as always. I appreciate it. Please leave a comment if you can and definitely a like. It helps the channel and me out. And if you're new watching, please subscribe for more. Shen RC, I'll see you next time.